If it was cheaper, I'd get a custom Tyler. What color would a Tyler lip shade be? Baby blue. Hello friends, and welcome to another video. It is I, Sophia, coming to you from Tyler's sister's apartment in New York City, 1909. Just kidding. It's 2017 now. Uh, today we're gonna do something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. We're gonna go to the Bite Lip Lab and make a custom lipstick. We're in New York City visiting Tyler's sister right now over the holidays, and the Bite Lip Lab happens to be also in New York City. So, we're going. Someone tweeted at me about the Bite Lip Lab the last time I was in New York, so in September, and since then I wanted to go so badly. If you guys don't know this about me already, I'm a lipstick fiend. I think I have actually a normal amount of other types of makeup, but when it comes to lipstick, I'm a crazy person. Besides seeming really fun, making my own custom lipstick is gonna really give me the chance to nail exactly the lip color that I want. At Bite Lip Lab, they don't make the liquid to matte lipsticks, they just make the normal lipsticks. But even so, you can mess with the color, the finish, and the smell, and pretty much like everything you want. I'm most excited, obviously, about being able to choose exactly how it looks, but also, I've eaten Bite lipsticks before in a video, and they taste great. We tried to get into the lip lab yesterday, actually, but the the wait list was completely full and they were completely booked up with appointments. So we're gonna try and get there before it opens today and wait in line to get on the wait list for today and see if we can't get this custom lipstick made. You're gonna be so excited, you're gonna be like Augustus Gloop. I am the Augustus Gloop of lipstick. So you're gonna get sucked up the chocolate too. Yeah. So it's Friday morning. We are here on Prince Street at the Bite Lip Lab. We're leaving tomorrow, so we had better hope that today makes it. She said that yesterday she was able to get like a couple of people in off the wait list. Well, we're here first in line. I have five layers on, so I'm not <laughs> cold. I'm ready to go. I'm fresh out of the shower. My hair is still wet, so it's gonna freeze. You have a few things from Bite already. My favorite is kale, which is a dark green color. I don't like the food kale, but I do like the lipstick kale. Out here for like 20 minutes and it's pretty cold. Is your hair frozen yet? It's not frozen. But, but it's crispy. It's crispy. Yeah. <laughs> because we were kind of crazy about it and we were there first, we actually got to do the appointment right away. I'm gonna get blended. You excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. So we were waiting in the freezing cold and then suddenly I was making my own lipstick. It was a little bit of a whirlwind. Ooh, it's a very nice lip scrub. Are my lips peeling? So at the Bite Lip Lab, there are like two options. One of them is that you can choose from 200 of their pre-mixed shades, mix in your own scent, and then mix in your own finish. Or there's the bespoke option, which means that they will custom mix a lipstick for you, and you get two of those, and then some extra goodies for $150. I ended up choosing the $150 option, which I know is really, really pricey, but I wanted to bring you guys along so you guys could get the full experience too. I feel like I have two categories of like lip insanity. I'm either looking for like a taupey beige type color or I'm looking for like a dark as night type color. Definitely something dark, not super, super black, but like kind of like a black and red brown, taupey grayish browns and then like dark, dark colors are my two favorites. Those are my two camps, my lipstick camps. So we decided to start with the nudie beigey color. This is awesome. The mixologist was so good. She completely understood what I was talking about and whipped up some like really awesome shades from the beginning. She put together a shade that was like a sort of like chocolatey nudie brown. I like that a lot, but I just wanted to see what it would look like lighter. So she'd mix one that was a little bit lighter. This is number two. At first I thought the lighter one was a little bit too zombie-ish. So we tried out a third version. I kind of want this sheet of paper. I mean, obviously you can't. But I guess I want to frame it. This is like the first one, but a little more mixed. I mean, I think it looks really good. Now I have it on. I think I kind of like the second one. I mean, this is the first color, and this is the second color. We're deciding to go with the second one. Now that I look at this more, I feel like this is a harder color to find. I knew right away I wanted like a dark red oxblood type color. The mixologist nailed the oxblood color pretty much the first time. You look like Khaleesi when she was eating that horse heart. I mean, that's the intended look. And then she kind of pukes, and then she looks up like this. Well, I mean, if you think I look like Khaleesi eating the heart, the name of the shade will be Dothraki, the Horde. <laughs> Dothraki Screamer. <laughs> Dothraki Screamer is like literally their front line of their cavalry. Oh, I yeah. thought that was like a gross Game of Thrones sex act. Take two, a little bit lighter. 
We tried a slightly lighter one just to see, and the lighter one was really pretty too, but the darker one just felt like so perfect. I do like this color though too, but I agree it's more like a Cabernet. It's more like Tyrion Lannister, I drink and I know things, rather than Dothraki Screamer. I think I like the first one, yeah. At that point I was having a great time naming the shades for the gray zombie-ish color, but I think I'm gonna call it Mrs. Norris. Filch's cat. In my head, Mrs. Norris looks something like Krusty. So the kind of like grayish, beige-ish was kind of like an ode to her fur. After we found the perfect shade, she mixed up like a fun royal blue color just for fun for me to wear around. Ah. I feel like the Dothraki screamer left some blood behind. Yeah. I'm trying to like cover over it, yeah. Out, out, damn spot. This is very much um, the Ravenclaw Quidditch robe. So what would you call it? Harry's first. Too root. This is the flavor station. Ooh, the vanilla smells really good already. Does the scent mess with the um, texture of it or just, no, okay. Maybe I should get mint so it'll make my breath smell good. Since you say my breath's so bad. Put that mint in the cocoa. Minty, minty cocoa nut. She'd been writing down the little fractions of each pigment below every swatch. All right, this is my finished paper. Mrs. Norris, Dothraki Screamer, Harry's first. And then she went to like the large pigment closet and got the exact measurements of the larger pigments and mixed them together in a bowl. Okay, this is Mrs. Norris before she gets mixed. The Thraki Screamer. I see that large chunk of black pigment in there. That seems about right. Put them in the bowl and then put them in the microwave. And then when they were liquefied, she would mix them up and then swatch them next to the other swatches. Something about the Dothraki Screamer color had just been on the money all day. We got it on the first try. That one was perfect already. I want to paint our house that color. Mrs. Norris, as she is wont to do, was a little more difficult to get right on the nose, but after a few tries, we finally got it. Mrs. Norris is a difficult cat, so it makes sense that it's hard to match the shade. <laughs> then she poured the mixtures into a mold and put the mold on top of the freezer for a few minutes and waited for them to solidify into lipsticks. My children! <laughs> Okay, they need to put clothes on because they're naked. <laughs> oh, wow. These are awesome. They're alive. They're alive. Oh, and you're also gonna get the scrub and the lip mask. Okay, thank you so much. I have my two colors, Dothraki Screamer and Mrs. Norris, and I can't wait to use them. We have to wait about 20 minutes until I can actually put them on, but that's okay because I think I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day just for fun, but I cannot wait. So here is the final finished product. They give you some extra stuff, like they give you a lip scrub and a lip mask in this cute little box, but the real prize is these two bad boys. They come in a little tissue paper thing, destroying that, don't worry about it. The final lipstick tubes look like this. I like the tubes, they have little lips on them. I'm gonna swatch these guys for the very first time. I can smell the coconut mint. I think that was a pretty good choice. The coconut mint smells very good and very much like a vacation. This one is Dothraki Screamer. Where are my dragons? And this one is Mrs. Norris. Meow, meow, basilisk. If you guys couldn't tell, that was me as Mrs. Norris seeing the basilisk in the puddle in the hallway and I got petrified. One thing that's pretty awesome about Bite Lipstick itself is that it's a pretty natural brand. So it smells good, it tastes good because it's edible. It feels pretty good on your lips. It's very moisturizing. It is not a liquid to matte lipstick though, so you do have to be careful about like it schmearing. It's a schmearer. And by that I mean smear -er. I feel like I have so many lipsticks, but I've never been able to get involved in the actual creative process of making them and naming them. Naming them is super fun. I thought that getting to tinker with the pigments and watching them mix them and put them in the microwave and freeze them was super, super fun. They actually give you these pigment cards. So if you want the same color again, you can reorder it. Though it is expensive, I would say it's worth it for a one-time experience. I think it takes the idea of personalizing your makeup to the next level. It kind of reminds me about how my grandma told me she used to melt her lipsticks together to make one that would match her sari. I don't think I'll necessarily be doing it again, but doing it once was super, super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button. Here are my social media handles. Check out my next feed. I vlog live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Come hang out with me and chat. It'll be fun. I'll be there. You'll be there. We'll both be there. Who knows who else will be there. Until next time. I just keep raising my eyebrows. Eventually it'll get funny.